Hello, good morning. It's Leo Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets for Thursday, the 14th of July 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of the market uh, price action and the movements this morning, we have the um, Shanghai uh, down overnight, certainly uh, indicating weakness, uh, certainly exhaustion. The Nikkei up one percent and the Hang Seng up one percent, but given the fact that the Nikkei, Nikkei is certainly associated with the Shanghai is down, indicating risk aversion. Okay, so um, now today the eyes of all focus really is on the BOE. BOE will dictate as we have another central bank now potentially opening up the uh, the QE taps again. Okay, so again all eyes on that. Uh, overnight really was all Australian data in terms of jobs and inflation. Uh, really, other than the fact that. Uh, uh, the U.S. market certainly finished in the downside overnight, certainly finished towards the close, finished weak given the weak economic data out of the U.S. And uh, certainly have pushed and ticked higher on the back of obviously uh, expectations of BOE enacting further QE. So all eyes will remain on QE. Now, talking about QE, let's bring up the chart of GBPUSD. GBPUSD currently is positioned on a uh, inverted head and shoulders formation indicating that uh, there will be no additional QE. So again, that's interesting. So you have uh, your daily chart. And you clearly see that you have an inverted head and shoulders left head and now looking for the right shoulder to trigger and then obviously going into 1.1366. So again, that's the zone that we're looking at. The four hour chart certainly look putting in a higher low and uh, indicating a potential move higher. So all eyes on the chart of sterling uh, as to the potential next direction. So. If I was a trading individual, if I had to choose which way uh, the market will go today, my bias would certainly be on the upside with regards to no additional QE, given the fact that Mr. Carney already has done uh, everything sufficient enough to uh, stabilize the markets and talk talk the markets higher, and that's exactly what's occurred. We've got the FTSE now back up the uh, to the 6700 plus region, and uh, it really would be uh, illogical or rational to, act for, to actually enact further QE because you already have a stock markets high. You have the US markets making new highs. It wouldn't, it doesn't make logical sense, okay? It doesn't make logical sense at all to uh, enact further uh, a potential QE or a potential rate cut because you basically have a cushion to fall back on, okay? Especially with equ equity markets higher at present, okay? So again, uh, the latest report as well is that corporate borrowing costs have certainly re returned to pre-Brexit levels so or pre-Brexit chaos. So again, uh, certainly a lot of stabilized signs of stabilization and really you want to uh, save your bullet to, uh, to be fired another day. Okay, so especially with the situation and the environment now at the moment uh, being uh, one of bullish uh, bias, it certainly would uh, be... Um, very stupid for him to fire his uh, bullet right now. Okay, you want to leave that bullet. You need to leave the powder dry. Okay, so again, uh, looking for a inverted head and shoulders formation here. In terms of the uh, German DAX, let's just bring up the German DAX for you. Daily chart: the German DAX at the moment is smashed. Is right into that 200 MA. Is right into the uh, Fib 75 percent. So again, looking for resistance here, folks. Okay. 60-minute chart is uh, we did have a rising contracting wedge pattern that certainly obviously has been negated now You have the unfilled gap that's been left below. Okay uh, German DAX at the moment into its pivot R3 resistance. Okay, uh, you have this unfilled gap below as well So all eyes on that potential gap being filled today. So that's basically what my focus will be on the potential unfilled gap Okay uh, Taking the pivot high and just basically connecting it across. Okay, and you're looking for that potential move so again, looking for R3 resistance hold, intraday double top on the German DAX as well. Certainly looking for that to hold, okay? Certainly looking for gap fill to close below. Yeah, so German DAX, from my perspective, remains weak. The French CAC, yesterday I was expecting weakness and certainly have been very surprised with the move today. Okay, again, it's on the back of uh, potential Mr. I think there was an Italian bank this morning, potentially capitalization, etc. Uh, and uh, certainly has helped the European indices move higher. And along with the potential, obviously, of uh, the prospect of QE from the uh, BOE. And uh, we already know Japanese QE has been helping equity markets higher. So, again, looking for gap fill below at 4338, folks. So, watch out for 4338 on the French CAC. Certainly looking for weakness, okay, on the 10 minute chart, 60 minute chart at the moment. Uh, you really are into that previous support equals resistance. You're certainly holding that resistance line. You're into pivot R3 resistance as well. So, again, looks certainly looks over exhausted. Uh, the fib uh, we've certainly taken out the fib 575 percent 
Okay, so again, it's interesting to see if we can potentially put in a topping tail and start to move lower today. Okay, so again, certainly interesting. Now, if you look at the CAC mid and small, we're still languishing at the 200 MA. If we uh, now again, if you look at the volatility index, we're still certainly uh, making a potential base here. So again, everything is indicating down for me. FTSE 100 certainly has been very, very impressive. You do have resistance in this region here. This is a key zone at 64, 6.740. I'm not expecting 6740 to potentially crack today. If it does, then you are looking at 6800. But for now, certainly expecting that resistance to hold daily chart as well. Certainly looks toppy. 60 minute chart at the moment. Looking looking toppy slightly as well. Uh, again, looking for weakness here. Okay, you have the unfilled gap that needs, certainly needs to close below, which is around the uh, 6695. Certainly looking for that gap to close. 6740 certainly is your resistance zone for now, okay? Certainly is your resistance zone for now, okay, in terms of the FTSE 100. Okay, I think that's a market wrap now, folks. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs, okay, and certainly take advantage of that 25% bonus. Goodbye now.